Historic or ready for the wrecking ball? The fight over Marilyn Monroe's Brentwood home took a new turn today. Good afternoon, I'm Amy Johnson. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. In today for Juan Fernandez, the LA City Council today passed a motion to start the process for declaring her former home an historic cultural monument, keeping the owner from demolishing it, at least for now. Yeah, KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal talked with those on the front lines of the battle to save the iconic home. We came just because we heard about that it was going to be demolished and we just wanted to see where it was. This group of bicyclists rode 28 miles from Redondo Beach Friday after they learned the Brentwood home that Marilyn Monroe bought and lived in briefly before she died was given approval to be torn down. She was an icon. Right. But when other fans and historical preservation groups around the world got word about the permit approved to demo the 1929 Spanish colonial hacienda at the end of this cul-de-sac off sunset, they started campaigning the city to save it. We're not looking to turn it into a museum, but we do want to protect uh, the value of the home. Elisa Jordan, the co-host of All Things Maryland podcast, says the actress was restoring this home she purchased herself in the 1960s in the city she grew up in. It was a pivotal point in her life. She had just divorced the great playwright Arthur Miller. She was looking to restart her career, restart her life. And the fact that it's now threatened is not just uh, a disservice to her memory. It's a disservice to the city of Los Angeles. The threat of demolition today is real. This could happen. This permit is out there, which is why it is so urgent that we take action today. LA City Councilwoman Tracy Park heard the pleas and got a motion passed Friday to temporarily halt the demo and for this home to be considered a historical cultural monument. Each detail of the home from its wooden beam ceilings to the tiles that she handpicked on her journeys from around the world. The home reflects her personal character. A fan of Marilyn Monroe came here today to leave this flower right in front of her gate because he says on the day he learned about the demo, he's afraid to lose even more of the film star. I'll bring a rose, take a picture of the house, uh, just uh, take a look at it and wonder what it was like and, and just dream about what it'd be like to spend an afternoon by the pool. Park says the property was purchased by an LLC after it was sold in July, changing hands many times over the years. But its allure still there, even 61 years after her death in this very home. The overwhelming sentiment here is clear. This home must be preserved as a crucial piece of Hollywood's and the city of Los Angeles's history, culture, and legacy. In Brentwood, Jasmine Veal, KCAL News.